This war is launching the entire world towards a major crisis. And honestly, before the war even began, we were already headed into that direction. And guess what? It's expected to get really bad. So for that reason today, we are about to talk about everything we need to go out and get ASAP so that we can be ready and prepared for what's to come. this is Monique and welcome back to the channel. I am back with the news that you can use but first if you are new here hello bonjour hola konnichiwa shalom. Thanks so much for stopping by but don't just be a stranger go ahead hit that subscribe button and join the family. Also this is going to be information that everyone needs to hear so please do me a favor now and like this video because your like is what helps to get this out to more people. So I am not here to scare you today I'm here to tell you some things we need to do to get prepared because if you prepare yourself right now then the events that are about to unfold will have less of an impact on you and your family and when I'm talking about events unfolding first and foremost there's inflation we all are aware of this why because we are affected by this the national gas price is now four dollars and 31 cents and if that's not enough this war has put a major strain on a situation that was already spiraling out of control. And these things coupled together is what is pushing us towards a major crisis. And the first thing on this list that we need to start with, the first thing we need to do is get food. One of the most major crises that we are going towards is a food crisis, a food shortage. I actually was very skeptical of getting on here and talking about this. You know how we have our conspiracy theorists out here in the world. So I'm like, man, these people are going crazy. But as I started to read more articles and see things that they're saying is going on, it really push me to get on here and just at least talk about it and let us get prepared. We don't have to overdo it and go wipe out the store like I said, but we can just make sure we have things we need in case it happens. And in one of the articles that I read, it was talking about the fact that wheat prices have hit record high. And we all know that food prices have been on the rise since 2020, since the beginning of this pandemic. So I'm saying all of this to basically say that a food shortage could be on the way. But the most important things you need to get first, make sure you have now is non-perishable food. Things like your canned meats, fruits, vegetables. Please do not go to the store and grab any and everything. You wanna make sure that you get things that your family will actually eat you can get things like protein bars because we will need to make sure we have our protein another form of protein that is good to have peanut butter you want to get your dried foods like beans I actually heard someone say that beans is a big thing that we probably should be focusing on and with beans we also need rice I told you how grain is at the highest that it's been and Russia and Ukraine actually provided a high percentage of grain to many different countries. So with that war that's going on, that will definitely decrease exports. But having all of these things on hand will help you in case you cannot get to the store. I'm not sure if you have heard about this latest news, but China actually put some cities on lockdown. Right now, there are actually 30 million people that cannot leave their home. And it's not due to inflation or the war, but because of rising cases of COVID. COVID is very much alive and it is still running around a lot of places. There's new variants in different places in Europe. But back over to China, they are actually on lockdown and get this, only one family member can leave the house every two days to go and get necessities and food and who knows how much food will be available every two days they are able to leave the house so as far as how much food you should get there's many different things that's being said the government actually put on their website to get several days of food I'm actually doing a month's supply of food. I've heard people post about getting six to 12 months of food, three months of food. It's all over the place. You just have to do what you're comfortable with. So other than the food that we need, something that we also need that's important is a can opener. But we need a manual one in case the lights go out for whatever reason. Now, some of you may be thinking that I'm preparing for apocalypse. I'm preparing for the end of the world. I'm preparing for all kinds of stuff, but we stay ready 
so we don't have to get ready but this list is kind of pretty much versatile it can be used in natural disaster type situations it can be used currently like I said with a possible food shortage or if we're about to go on lockdown can't get out so yeah this is not for an apocalypse this is the real deal now one thing that when I see these type of lists I don't hear a lot of people really focus on and that is getting dog food cat food bird food like food for your pet they still there too they gonna need some help too now i'm trying to speed through this now because i talk so long about food so we need to wrap this up real quick but another thing that we need to make sure we have is water now for if any reason something happens while we're on lockdown there's a boil water advisory our water gets contaminated some kind of way we want to make sure that we have water available and it's said to have one gallon of water per adult a day but something that you can do is to go ahead on and get yourself a water filter that can save you a lot of plastic and a lot of space again this is our emergency preparedness list so we are going to be ready for all emergencies now of course some things you want to make sure you consider and have is things like soap the main hygiene type of things some people don't even think about feminine products also toilet paper we know that experience that we had with the pandemic then i had to get some toilet paper that will cut a hole in your soul okay so we want to make sure we have the toilet paper that we use you know enough stored up toothpaste you know all of those necessities that you need now for the sake of time one more thing that i just want to mention that i feel like is extremely important for us to have is medication we want to make sure we have enough of our prescriptions filled there are a lot of drugs that many people are on and half of americans actually take medication every day but a lot of those medications can be prescribed in a three month supply so next time you can ask your doctor hopefully insurance cover it because sometimes they don't do that because of the fact that insurance won't cover it which means that it'll be a lot of money out of pocket for you but nonetheless if you can get that that's all always good to have because if you can't get out for let's say you're on lockdown again pharmacies are closed or it's hard to get to your doctor just any type of situation where you just can't have access to your medication like you normally would you want to make sure you have enough on hand for you and also not even prescribed drugs you want to make sure that you have all of the over-counter drugs that you need like your robitussins or whatever you take when you're sick you want to make sure you have that you want to make sure you have pain relievers and fever reducers because we still in a pandemic anti-diarrheals because if we have to go to eating all those non-perishable foods it might tear our stomach up so we want to make sure we have something to combat that as well as antacids we might get a little acid reflux from it as well so you just want to make sure you have all of the things that you need to survive and to thrive in case any of these type of situations from the food shortages to the pandemic to inflation and just things not being available or prices going up so high later on you can't afford it so this is just a quick little list of things there are so many more things that you can get but these are the main things i wanted to focus on today please make sure you like the video subscribe if you have not done so and other than that i thank you so much for watching and until next time we are out peace stay safe out there y'all